Okay, I'm about to go out on the court, but before I go out, I wanted to let you know what these next uh, series of videos are going to be about. I signed up for this Tennis Symposium 2019, and all the pros who teach pros are going to be doing lessons and, and apparently very valuable content that you can only access through this course. I'm hoping that it's as, you know, worth the time and money that I spent for it. Uh, time watching it and money, you know, just plain buying it. It was, it was relatively expensive. Um, and I have bought plenty of online courses. One of them I really kind of enjoyed was Fuzzy Yellow Balls. Um, and I've never done any videos on them, but I did get a lot from those courses about strategy and doubles and singles. So, um, the first module is going to be on single strategy. And then I'll do the whole review on the tennis symposium single strategy. And then the second one is going to be double strategy. And then the third one is going to be Technique RX. That means just plain, I don't know, <laughs> remedies for your bad technique, I guess. Um, and then the fourth module is, I can't remember what it is, but I will tell you, <laughs> it won't be a while till I get there, I'm sure. Uh, there's like 30 videos all together, and I'm, I'm pretty sure that it's, it's at least 30 hours long with all the bonus material, um, which is a lot of hours to be learning about tennis. But I'm going to try to condense into 10 minutes. So each module will be, well, I doubt I'll be able to do that. But I'll do the best I can because uh, I'm headed out to the courts right now. Okay, so while I'm out here in this gorgeousness, uh, and it is a beautiful day today, um, I'm going to do a quick review of something I purchased. I used to use a ball hopper, and I still do, uh, but I'm going to... When I say a ball hopper, I mean the kind of that's on a stand and that you kind of hope the wind doesn't blow it over because all your balls go rolling over the place or someone doesn't kick it or hit it with the tennis ball. So, so I bought this one here. This is the Gamma Quadra Cart. Quadrapod Cart, for lack of a better name. I don't know exactly what it's called, but it, it's a Gamma Cart. And um, they call it a ball hopper, but it doesn't really hop the balls. It is easy travel, though and i could have put all the tennis balls i own in here but i didn't because i didn't know if they would all fit but this thing is expandable meaning that it gets wider it gets higher um you can zip the top up so that the balls don't go spilling all over the place even if the cart falls over which i hope it doesn't but my other cart would always fall over and this is a problem so this is why i recommend this gamma cart so now I'm going to work on the serve and my objective here is to get the serve as deep as possible and either to the net or through, I'm sorry, either to the fence behind the service line and I'm going to move up so we can see the fence or through. So you get it to the fence or through the fence. Now I don't think I can get it through the fence with this fence because it's a little further back from the service line. But there are some fences where I can actually hit the ball and it goes through the fence. Um, and if I serve right, I'm coming into the net, okay? So look, I'm almost at a volley position right there. There's no way you're going to hit a really hard serve and not come. Not that hitting a hard serve is important, especially in doubles, but it is something you should be able to do. And okay, so now uh i'm still coming to the service line but watch what happens when i hit the ball and and kind of back to the side okay or don't come into now that took about three bounces to get to the net and this one is going to take more so i i think what i was thinking is, is second serve here because i'm i think i'm going more for height but let's try to yeah come to the net that's very important Here we're going to take a look at the serve in slow motion. 
So I lift and let go. That's my command. And I'm tossing higher than I usually visualize myself tossing. But I'm jumping up towards this ball. And it's on its way down. And I'm on my way in. Now, some coaches might argue that you shouldn't toss the ball too high. Um, and that's a good point. But it doesn't mean that it's necessarily a bad toss because there are some great servers that serve the ball hot so a question i always ask my students is between the backhand the forehand the lob the volley the serve the slam the return of serve and the hand down the line or the forehand down the line what are the most important shots the first three most important shots out of all those and without a doubt my answer is always the serve the serve is the most important shot why because without the serve you can't begin the point so it doesn't mean that so which serve should what shot should be your best it means which shot is the most important in the game in tennis and obviously without question the serve because the point can't get started without the serve and then my next question is, is with that said what's the next most important shot in tennis and that is obviously the return now to me <clears throat> the hardest shot to practice is the return of serve you rarely see guys warming up practice their re return of serve and it's the second most important shot thank you for watching the next on-court video will be on the slice